Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm filling up the panda washer because I'm going to show you how to wash sheets. So the first thing I did was hook the uh, hose to the faucet and I also hooked the drain hose right into the drain so when I'm ready to go it's ready. And then I turned it on and it's filling up. That's the hardest thing about the panda is waiting for it to fill up. It takes a while. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon of detergent and then I'm going to wash. I divided them into two piles. I have one sheet, one pillowcase, and then I'm going to do one sheet, one pillowcase. These are uh, twin size. You can also do, we've done double size in here, and we just don't, or no, queen size. We've done twin and queen. Uh, we don't have king, but I think they would probably fit. But do one sheet, one pillowcase at a time. Okay, I'm going to add the soap, and I'm going to add one set, and I'm going to show you how it agitates. I added the soap, get it dissolved around in the water before I put in the sheet. You can see I have one sheet, one pillowcase in here, and you can see where the overflow is. You don't want it to get up higher than that. And the reason you could probably fit more in here, because there's plenty of room, but they tend to tangle and twist when they're agitating and you don't want them to get all tied up into knots. Plus, the more water there is around them, the easier it is to make sure that it gets clean. So I'm going to turn this on to wash and I'm going to turn on the timer. And there you go. The sheets are washing. So you can see first it swirls one way and then it'll stop and it'll start swirling the other way. So it doesn't agitate quite so much as a full-size washer that has those the arm in the middle that goes back and forth, but it takes turns going in either direction. You can see there's lots and lots of room for this sheet to swirl around. Okay, you can see there wasn't a lot, you can see the water is dirty, but there's not a lot of bubbles. You don't need a lot of soap to get things clean, and that's one of the things people think, oh, if I don't have a big pile of bubbles, it's not washing, but it is. So I've got the one sheet and the one pillowcase now into the spinning side, and you can see it isn't even half full. I'm not necessarily going to spin it right now, because what I'm going to do to save some time and water is add a titch more soap, a little more water, and I'm going to put the other sheet in here to wash rather than dump all this water out. So I'm adding a little more water. I have a, I added a little titch more soap and I'm putting the other sheet and towel in there. I'm still making sure that it doesn't go past the overflow and it will uh, when you turn it on, it does splash around some, so don't get too close to it because you don't want it to go over. But if it does, it goes into the drain section. And I'm going to let that wash. And then I've got the other one just in the holding position. I'm going to spin them and rinse them. Okay. Let's see? <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> I have both sheets and both pillowcases in the spin side. And I'm going to put that to spin with it on drain. And so these are spinning while this side is draining. And I made sure that my hose is hooked over the sink into the drain. You can see the water's all coming out. And it just easily hooks right over that piece of cake. It's spinning and draining. Before I rinse it, I want to make sure lint's not a problem, so I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe it out because if you have extra dirt or cat hair or lint or anything like that, your paper towel is going to pick it up and then you can just throw it away. Now I'm going to fill it up and I'm going to rinse them. If you want to use fabric softener, just use about a teaspoon. Put it in just with the filling water and make sure that it gets uh, diluted so that you don't have a glob on your fabric. 
I spun the dirty water out for about five minutes while it was draining. And I'm going to remove the cover and I'm going to take one, look at these, they're practically dry. And they don't have all that excess dirty liquid in them. And I have one sheet, one pillowcase I'm going to put into the rinse and I'm going to leave that one for next. In fact, I'll pull it out out of the way. Be sure when you're washing it, you put it on wash. When you have draining it, it's on drain. And then when you're not doing either one, put it in the middle so that it can't start up uh, without you being ready. So now that I've got this nearly filled up where I can rinse it, I'm going to put this on wash. And I'm going to turn on the timer again. And it's rinsing the first half of the sheet. Okay. I've rinsed this one. I'm going to drop it in the spinner. I'm going to add a little more water again. See how it's getting? It's practically clean. And that was like the first rinse that I did. Now I'm going to add the other sheet and pillowcase. I'm going to add a little more water and put this side to rinse. The water's clear enough for my satisfaction, so I have all of the sheets and the pillowcases in here. I'm going to set this to drain, and I'm going to turn on the spinner, and then I'm going to hang them up to dry. Also, after this drains completely, I'm going to take another paper towel and wipe it out again, just to make sure there is no lint or residue left for when I get another load to do another wash next time. Try the pan washer. It's easy to wash your sheets. Just takes a little time. Don't walk away while you're using this though because uh, you don't want the drain hose to come undone and it's say running water all over your house. So have fun with your panda. Leave me a comment on what you're doing to make your life easier and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel. Have a wonderful day.